I'm not sure how much I've been exposed to AI over the years. I mean, much of it is hidden to me. I don't really see or recognize when it's operating around me. I mean, I know it's there. It's operating in the background, unseen, unknown. But I was never really conscious of it. I never really took note of it. And I knew it was there and I was accepted that it was there and that it was something that was going to help me and help everyone in making their life more efficient, more useful, more productive. But recently, there was this kind of bombardment of videos, essays, podcasts, all talking about this new phenomenon, chat GPT. And from what I was hearing, it was actually quite exciting what this AI could do. So I thought I'd check it out. Being an aspiring YouTube content creator, I thought I'd ask it to write a video essay for one of my upcoming videos. So I thought to myself, should I ask it one question or should I break it down and get a lot more detail in my questions and a lot more accuracy in terms of its potential response? I went with the second option and I asked it the seven questions. And for each question, it would provide me with a short 80 to 100 word paragraph. Now, what were the results? It was a cocktail of emotion. It was fear, it was excitement, it was confusion. Every single positive and negative reaction went through me. Here I was asking seven questions and I got a 700 word essay in five minutes. What would have typically taken me eight hours to write and rewrite and fine tune and re-edit, five minutes. And I thought to myself, what am I doing is content creation even going to be a thing for individuals to do? Right then and there, I thought about shutting shop and just ending it. And, you know, after the excitement, I kind of put together all of these paragraphs that the AI had generated for me. And I started going through it. And let me just be clear. I mean, I did go through it the first time and I was just caught with the excitement and the fears that was associated with something so new and so mind boggling that I really didn't get to grips with the actual content. And here's what I discovered. AI had wonderful things to offer, but at the same time had so many limits. I mean, obviously we're seeing now, we're seeing a major leap in what AI can do. But the more you go in detail and the more you kind of review the output, you discover that a lot is still missing. I realized that I was the one asking those seven questions, not AI. I was the one directing those seven questions in a sequential manner. Okay, you'd say to me, well, you can ask AI to list seven questions for you pertaining to a certain subject matter, and then following that, ask it to generate paragraphs for each and every question. Yet still, the initial step was not AI related. Number two is the quality of the output that's lacking. I mean, it's great, but it's nowhere near the quality and complexity of what I would have generated had I spent that full day on writing my version of the essay. The other element that's missing as well is that there's no cognitive understanding by the AI really of what it's saying. I mean, from a first read, you might look and you might think, oh, wow, this is fantastic stuff. But actually, there's substantial repetition, repetition of ideas, repetition of words. And that shows maybe its limitation, its temporal limitation that might change with the next iterations of this intelligence. But still today, it is lacking along those lines. The fourth element, or the fourth observation, is towards feeling, the emotion of the writing. There is none. There is no emotion. There is no shift of mood. There is no shift of feeling. As someone who likes to instill feeling or humor or any type of emotion within the writing, it doesn't exist within AI. So these brief four points gave me hope. Some of them, maybe two of them, will be resolved within the next year, two, three, I don't know, but they will be resolved because I think as AI develops and becomes more intelligent, it'll be able to manage these gaps in its output. But two fundamental elements I don't see being addressed for a while. 
Now, I'm not into AI. I don't really understand a lot of the um, a lot of the mechanics, but those two elements have nothing to do with mechanics. Number one is the spark. Who initiates anything? And AI doesn't initiate anything. It has to be told to do something, and it has to be channeled in order to do that thing. And for a better output, you need more channeling. You need more fine tuning. And at the end of the day, to get something of the same quality that you generate independently, you might have spent your own time doing it as opposed to going through a gazillion iterations with AI. That's number one. Number two is the emotional journey that is taken by any creator, whether it's an artist, it's a writer, it's a musician, it's a filmmaker. There is no emotion attached to the output so far. And I think those two things give us hope. Not just hope, but they give us comfort in the fact that there are elements that today, in the foreseeable future, will not be answered by AI. Now again, I don't know what's going to happen in 10 years, but today, I don't think that's going to be a reality that we have to deal with very soon. And that gives me comfort, and it gives me joy, and it gives me an answer that I'm not going to be replaced by AI. Thank you.